Ladies and gentlemen, this next bout of action is scheduled for six rounds in the ladies' junior welterweight division. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the red corner, weighing in at 143 and a half pounds, she is undefeated with four victories under her belt, two knockouts. From Ventura, California, Claudia Valenciana. <laughs> Fighting out of the blue corner, wearing all black, weighing in at 139 and a half pounds with a record of 14 wins, nine losses, four draws, two knockouts. She's from Las Vegas, Nevada, ladies and gentlemen, the amazing Layla McCarter. And your referee, Tony Weeks. Okay, you both can see we're in struggling the dressing room. Okay, anything right here is gonna be good, anything that's gonna be low. Right here is good, this is low. I want a good, clean fight. Obey my commands at all times, above all, protect yourselves at all times. Ready? Let's go. And with that, we are set to go. Here is uh, Layla McCarter. Clear experience edge to McCarter. And Valenciana started a boxing career actually back in 2001, had only one fight, then fought again a year later, and then did fight for another 14 months after that. She has had a couple of fights this year. This could be a very good fight here, Barry. Layla McCarter's been in against a number of really good women fighters. She holds three victories over Tracy Bird, the uh, sister of uh, Chris Bird, and Tracy is a fine uh, boxer herself. And uh, she's very quick, Layla McCarter. She's fluid in the ring. She looks like an athlete when she's in there. On the other hand, Valenciana, who only has four fights, has displayed a real punch in her four fights. She has scored two knockouts, has uh, scored a knockdown in one of the fights that went to a decision, and cut her opponent badly in the other fight. So she has shown that, her, that she has the ability to punch. This could be pretty good. Six rounds, which would be the longest distance that uh, Valenciana has gone. But on the other hand, Layla McCarter, remember, has gone 10 rounds on a number of occasions. Exactly. Good right hand there. Valenciana, as we expected, coming forward and trying to get to her with her punch. She's a big puncher. You see she's kind of stockily built. She looks powerful in there. Uh -huh. And Layla is, uh, uh, as you said, fluid. She gets around that ring, can use her legs, and is quick-handed. Won three fights in a row, the two that you mentioned against Tracy Bird, and then beat Lisa Lewis, and down goes Valenciana. Valenciana Five, getting a taste six, of the experience of seven, Layla McCarter. Eight, come here. Doesn't look okay, badly hurt to me, but it was ready? a clean knockdown. Layla McCarter not really known as a knockout no, puncher. No, not at all. But as you said, that was a good clean punch. Stop, stop, stop. Let him go. It's like Layla saying to a girl with four bouts, welcome to my world, honey. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is serious here. Good body shot from Layla McCarter. And again, triple left hand by McCarter. That one hurt her. I think more than the knockdown, Barry. Very yeah. good round oh, watch it, watch it. for Layla McCarter. You take a look at that left hook by Layla McCarter. A perfectly thrown left hook. Beautiful timing. Ducks in and a mistake made there. You saw the right hand drop by Valenciana. Showing her inexperience. She let her right hand go down almost to her waist. McCarter started that left hook up, made it count. I thought it was interesting when Claudia Valenciano went back into her corner. The first thing she said was, she can fight. And she found out firsthand. And I think your point is very well taken that the three punch or maybe four punch combination at the end of the first round by Leila McCarter, I think, really had more effect on Valenciano than the knockdown punch. <laughs> So now Valenciana is going to have to shore up her defense a little, Barry, and she's going to have to land something on McCarter to make McCarter respect her. McCarter having an easy time of it. Still a little reddening along the right side of the uh, face of Layla McCarter. She's very calm, very relaxed in there, this Layla. You know, she's a real pro. She looks like she's looking to counter right now. You know, she comes from a martial arts background. Now, she started martial arts training at the age of eight. And for the next nine years, she studied, uh, studied uh, taekwondo and kung fu judo and ninjutsu and muay thai uh, kickboxing. So she had that whole 
uh, martial arts training, and now she's a, an established professional, Barry. I mean, she's got 27 pro fights, and in the world of women's boxing, that's like, you know, uh, having 100 pro fights in, in, in men's boxing. Absolutely, and just a moment ago, while you were talking, about she, we were talking about her waiting to uh, counter, and uh, she did just miss with the right hand as she got Valenciana kind of leaning in, just trying to throw punches and being unprotected. Still to come, of course, our main event. It is uh, for the Intercontinental America's Junior Middleweight Championship. Julio, the Cuban lover, Garcia, Chantel Stanza. That's still down the road. Good combination from Valenciana, body, but the hip punch missed. But she got there with the body. She seemed a little buried to me at the start of this round, a little wary about walking straight in the way she was in the last round. She was looking to utilize that power of hers. Now you're right, she's not just uh, coming to McCarter. Not a bad idea. Good upper. Welcome back, Layla McCarter, waiting to do battle with Claudia Valenciana. Valenciana got there right at the end of that last round with a pretty good uppercut. This is round three of a six-round fight. To show you the level of fighters that Layla McCarter has lost to, Barry, among her defeats uh, were defeats to Laura Serrano, who's a very magnificent good. female fighter, and uh, also Chevelle Hallback, who's a terrific fighter, who we saw and carried a fight of hers against Laura Serrano on our air. That That's really right. It was a, a very war. great fight. Now it's McCarter who is coming to Valenciana. I thought Valenciana did better in that round after she seemed to be nervous to me the first 45 seconds of the round, but then started to get back into it once again. And she landed a very good combination to the body early in the round. And body punching is something that is visibly absent from a lot of the uh, women fighters. Arsenal. And, you know, if she can develop that, if she uses it here tonight, you know, and, and develop it along the way, she is going to, uh, you know, reap the benefits of that because not too many women use it. And body attack, whether you're man or woman, is going to, it will help you. Slapping right hand by McCarter. Good combination by McCarter. Backs Valenciana off. And McCarter unleashes another right hand and another right hand. And a left right to the bottom. Hand free, hand free. Valenciana is brave. She's fighting back. She's not holding nor backing away. She may not know what to do when she's hurt. This is probably a first for her. Best fighter on her ledger that she's beaten. We've seen her before. A woman with a strong punch herself, Mikey Stafford. Yep. Still to come, of course, our main event for the IBA. Intercontinental America's champion, junior middleweight championship, Julio Garcia and Chantel Stancil. And right now, uh, I believe uh, the champ, Sean O'Grady, is back uh, in Chantel Stancil's locker room. No chance. <laughs> we, did, we didn't say that with this guy. Right. Well, I'm enjoying this fight between these uh, two women fighters, fine fi fighters, Layla McCarter, Claudia Valenciana. Valenciana outgunned in terms of experience and probably in terms of an overall uh, arsenal. And she ran right into that left. And I, I think the difference in this fight right now is experience. I think that's exactly right. You can see Valenciana, she really squares up in front of her opponent when she throws her punches. That's uh, which is scorecard that shows McCarter in front by two points. And so she's susceptible to be countered. That can give you a lot of angles. And she also throws a lot of her punches outside in. Not a lot of straight punches. All three of the fights that she had with Tracy Bird were all very close. One was a split decision, one was a majority decision, one was a unanimous decision, and ironically it was that 10 round unanimous decision, their first fight, that probably was the most hotly disputed. This is round four, scheduled for six. Remember, two minute rounds in women's boxing. Layla McCarter just pot shouting right now. Good 
left hand by McCarter. She just she just waits for little mistakes and she'll take chances uh, as well, especially with that right hand lead. There's uh, McCarter. Coming to the end of round number four, and again a very effective round for Leila McCarter. 30 led that only on Fox Sports Net. All right, good job, Barry. And a good job by these two women fighters, mixing it up real good here. Both of them landing the shots. McCarter's the more precise, though, during the course of the round. You see, once again, to just disturb uh, her opponent. And again, with a left hook, knocks her down. Al almost identical. And she, this Four, time, her legs are uh, five, betraying her a little six, bit. Seven, eight, come to me, come to me. Come to me, you want to continue? Yep. You all right? Okay, I'm going to give you a chance. Well, you can hear that clearly, that she wants to continue on. And uh, Valenciana now facing the first adversity of her career. Right. Seeing, we're seeing how she reacts to it. She's brave enough. McCarter just got way too much experience. Yeah, that, uh, you said it earlier. That's the difference in the fight. It's not overpowering punches from McCarter, but good, sharp, straight punches are the two that put Valenciana down. There's Valenciana getting there with a pretty good right hand, but McCarter getting about three to one. Yeah, the cleaner punches from Layla. Valenciana, I, I do believe, is the harder hitter, Barry. She's the more heavier handed, and she'll probably, you know, knock out a lot of opponents on the way, but you know, she just needs to pick up the experience. Tonight, she's just being outclassed by a woman who has more in her repertoire. Yeah, overmatched, I think. But she's got some skills, Valenciana, as you said. Strong. See, but she does things like that. That's very just an amateurish move. McCarter was halfway across the ring for her, and she's starting to throw a right hand at her. And, and I think really more than anything else, what she needs to do is give a few more angles. She really does, especially when she throws a punch in relatively close quarters, like right there. She's square in front of her opponent. Another right hand on the left that backs Valenciana up. And again, McCarter trying to finish the job here. And she's got Valenciana holding on right now. Valenciana bloodied as well. Let's see what happens in the corner. This is always a bit of drama, of course. <laughs> The last round, Layla. Come on, get the good move. The left, last right, round, right you hand, better make it right, work. Left, right hand. This is the last round, baby. Don't leave it up. Get him out. Get him out. You know this is Carter's get corner. You're hearing. And the referee has gone over into the corner of Claudia Valenciana. He wanted to get a real close look at her. I got it. I got it. And each occasion, a left hook has been the uh, chief punch. Counter left hook once again. Barry said almost identical out. to the first one. And then near the end of the round, McCarter starting to bust up Valenciana. Good, quick, short right. right. That little six-inch job inside was nice. Okay, here we go. Keep it clean. Sixth and final round now. This has been experience against the inexperience. Just that simple, and that's the difference. Valenciana is showing me enough to make me think that she's got a future here, Barry. Has, has we, and uh, she's also we. showing enough in terms of bravery. And Layla Carter has been all business in there, business life, and just doing a very good workmanlike job. She's a, 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 a fine boxer. She is, yeah, just kind of taking what's there. Knows herself. I mean, she's, she's not, even though she's had two knockdowns, she's not out to whack anybody. Not a fighter who's going to get you out with one punch. The combination where left the body, left the head. I, I think Layla knows her own limitations. Exactly. And so even though she has scored knockdowns in two different rounds, clean knockdowns, she hasn't gone in there crazy and, then, and, and looked for a knockout. She's gone right back into her game plan. I like the way she moves in there, though. Nice job. Two or three punch combination. Then she tied Valenciana up. Layla's been serious about pursuing a boxing career. She moved here to Las Vegas so that she could get the proper training. Barry. She came here with 200 bucks in her pocket and, uh, and you know, dreams. <laughs> That's about it. I assume she still has the dreams, if not the 200 bucks. 
Well, it's Vegas. it is Vegas. You can't be sure about That's the 200 true. bucks. That's true. There's another good left hand. Alan Carter is very sharp, very high percentage of connections. So all four of those punches got there. Valenciano is hurt right now, Barry, and another 30 seconds, she may not have made it. But she showed a lot of courage. She's a gamer, look, and she's a little disappointed going back, and she's going back going, wow, that's what it feels like, huh? Yeah. It's not a good feeling. Uh, she was in there with a the tiger tonight. Good performance, I think, for that lady, Layla McCarter. I don't really believe this decision is much in doubt. She's happy as she should be. Good outing for her against a tough opponent, someone she knew could do some damage if she was allowed to. She never allowed her to. We'll come back. Rich. Yeah, it was a very good fight. A lot of hard punches thrown, especially that first left hook, putting Claudia Valenciana on her behind. And uh, she tried to bounce back. In the second round, she did, but in the fifth round, again, welcome to that left hook. Almost the exact same punch, Barry. Scored the knockdown again, same result. Layla McCarter just too experienced, too much in her arsenal tonight. And uh, Claudia Valenciano, a lot of uh, courage, I think, but she knows she's lost over there. And look at, I think she knows she's won on the left side. I Layla think that's true. But a lot of potential. <laughs> Sonia's Cafe, we'll be there right after the show. <laughs> Meantime, here's Amy Hayes. Ladies and gentlemen, the judges have spoken, and here is their decision. We have a unanimous decision. Judge Chuck Giampa scores it 59 to 53. And judges Bill Graham and Patricia Jarman Manning both score it 60 to 52, all in your favor. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Layla McCarthy. Well, two judges.